Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a program called Marvel App and learning how to use it to create an app with a home screen and just one page. Uh, we're also going to be looking at how to collaborate with other people so that you can work on an app in a team. So, I've logged in, signed in. Uh, it's very easy to create a free account. Um, and I'm just going to create a project and click prototype and we're going to call it penguins and we're going to do it for Android because lots of Androids we'll just ignore this create project okay now we are going to start designing from scratch instead of uh, doing this because I can help you to do it from scratch it's always nicer to be able to do that we don't want this thing right here um, yet we can use this later on it's a navigation bar so you can use kind of menus up the top if you want to um, but for the moment I'm just going to uh, just show you one really important feature I mean I can make I can make titles so we'll have my penguins homepage and if I want to change the font I can do that over here um, and then you can drag it around wherever you want. Um, and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, a couple of pictures here. And each picture is going to link to another page. So uh, let's try and search. We want an I want an image of king penguins. So actually, I'm not even in the images section, though. So that's the first problem. So we have to get out of this menu here and go into the pictures menu and uh, we'll look up now I don't know if they're gonna have a picture of king penguins it looks like they do that's fantastic all right so we'll add an image here I actually haven't really revised my king penguins for a while so I don't know if this is a king penguin somebody correct me later uh, all right so I've got my picture here and you know what uh, I'm so dodgy on penguins that I've forgotten uh, what any other type of penguins are. So let's go for a little penguin. And we'll add a picture of a little penguin because we're going to try and have two pages, one for king penguin and one for little penguin, um, and make links to them. Now, at the moment, we've only got our home page here. I have to, if I want another page, I have to click on new design down in the corner here. So I'm going to click on new design. That brings us to a whole new page, uh, which we will call King Penguins. Okay, you can choose, you can see which screens you're looking at here, by the way. So uh, I've just gone back to my home screen here. But let's say somebody's using the app. What I want them to do is I want them to be able to click on this picture and get to my next page here. And so this is actually the wrong section to do all of that in. This is just the design one where you're getting your headings and pictures all sorted out and your text, whatever text you want to include. But I'm just going to close this for now and go to the prototype button. So you can see my two pages here. Here's my home page and here's my King Penguins page. If I want to get somebody to click on this page to get to this page, I have to choose the page they're going to click on and click prototype. And I should really say tap because they're using a phone. Okay, so we're going to do this thing called hotspot, which uh, is basically like a link between one page and another. So if I click and drag on this image, because this is the one I want them to tap on, and then I click on this page, this tells me where they're going to arrive at once they tap on this picture here. So if I click on that, hopefully that will work. We're going to test it out. So we'll click close, um, and we're going to click play. And this allows us to test what our app is going to do. All right, now you can see on this page, I can't click on this, or if I can, but it doesn't work. But now if I hover over this one and I click on it, you can see because I've drawn the box exactly over the image, I can tap on 
this image anywhere in this image. And if I click on it, which I just did, uh, we get to the King Penguins page, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. Um, this has just opened up a new tab. I have to exit this tab to go back to the main section, which is in my other tab here. Alright, now I'm in the prototype area. I'm just going to click done to get out of that area. Because what I want to do is I want to add a little home icon here. And if I click on edit design and I look for what I want is a little picture of a house, like a cartoon icon of a house. But if I look for home icon in these pictures, I can't really find anything. Uh, if I click on house icon, I can't find anything at all. Uh, so if you can't find anything, it says upload from your computer over here. So we can actually do that. Um, if I look for home icon on Google, I'm going to find lots of images. I've got my little home icon here. If we make it really small. Now I haven't designed this very well because this picture is... Ah, now I can... now that looks a bit better. Now I can drag my home icon to here. And we're going to go back into prototype and see if we can get people to link back from this to the home page. So let's click close. And we'll go to... Because we want them to click on this home, we have to click on prototype for this page. And we're going to drag, just scroll down, drag, click and drag over our home icon. So that when they click on that, they go to this page. So if I click close and play just to test it, what should happen is I should be able to get back home by clicking on this button. And here we are. And my other link is still in there, so I, I can click to my King Penguins page and cl click back home to get home. Now, you can see that I'm in this kind of overall project area here. And I can go into edit design or I can go into prototype. Uh, but at the moment I actually just want to go back and here you can see that I've actually got this is my the, the area where you can see your different projects I think on the free version you can only have one project at a time anyway here's my penguins project the whole thing um, I can also go into team and invite somebody so what I've done already is I've invited uh, another teacher into my team and so she is allowed to edit and the way you do this is you click invite people you just put their email address in here uh, and you write you say team meta member can edit and what you'll find is that once you enter the email you this will say that you can add them but what, what you'll find is that you can only edit one page at a time uh, and that's that's okay. If you want to split up and each team team member working on one page, one separate page, um, you can do that. And you can also link between different pages um, even when somebody else is working on it. So it's quite good really. So that's how to add people. If I want to get back into my project, I can click on projects and I can get back into my penguins project. And there we are.